What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Herping Lebanon. Today we're gonna be herping for one of the most endangered species in the area. It's the Lebanon Mountain Viper. We just arrived and my friend already found first viper. It's a male. Check this out. This is epic. There was a female as well. I just entered the hole underground. This is perfect. That's a young male. I will take some still shots before letting it. So the day is already promising. Just first few minutes in the field and we already found a couple of mountain vipers. The female hid and we managed to catch the male. Uh, we'll take a few still shots of him and let him go near the hole they were hiding in. Yeah, the will release him now. Yeah. He will go to his female. The habitat is epic. We came here last year, we found three vipers. Today, upon arrival, we already found two. So, I hope we'll find much more within the coming hour or so. Keep looking and hopefully we'll be able to film some interesting mating behavior because it's the season now when they mate and the females might be already gravid sometime especially after the heat wave that came in the last week or so it's already exciting this area is also thriving with these kinks they are probably the main source of food for the vipers they're everywhere and almost every step we take you can see a skink running from under your foot and just half an hour later we found another viper that's female you can see it's uh, more brown and less uh, visible pattern uh, it was just some baiting laying down over there We're taking some still shots of this baby we are just half an hour on the field and already found three vipers we managed to film and photograph two of them one male and one female we will continue looking now that's really cool unlike other local viper species like the Daboya palestina and Ocoviperra levitina these ones are ovoviviparous they give birth to life babies after incubating them inside that's an uh, immature female it's very small their maximum size is like 70 centimeters so this one is around 25 30 centimeters maybe we'll take uh, some camera shots and let her go exactly where we found and now she will be released exactly where we found her because they are very territorial and can easily get lost and die if we put them in the wrong place or displace them Here she goes. So we went deeper into the habitat uh, between the hills and all that, as you can see. But didn't find any vipers after that last female. I think I will circle around this hill. Maybe we can find some on the other side. There are lots of skinks, they're absolutely everywhere. Uh, there are bees and grasshoppers, but no snakes now for the past like half an hour or so. so we'll see. I mean, it's not hopeless, we already found more than enough herbs, but it would be nice to find a few more. And here guys is another species of lizards around here, it's a Finicola certa calzeri probably, but I'm not very sure, it's really cool. It really, it's, uh, belongs to the same genus as the Lebanon lizard, but it's more of a mountain species, you cannot find them on the coastline. Uh, they can easily be mistaken with the skinks due to their pattern. That's male probably, and it lost its tail as you can see, the new one is growing out. Here's the second mini valley. Also looks very promising. Hopefully we will spot our third snake here or fourth. I consider we found only two because I didn't see the third one. It 
the skate before I managed to approach. I'm looking forward to find more. We changed our spot and arrived. Our second spot, this one, is wetter. There is an old restaurant with lots of trash and boards around it. So, there are epic hiding places. I found vipers there before, so hopefully we'll find more today. Oh, this spot is extremely wet. So, I don't know about our chances right now. Maybe it's too wet for the vipers. The boards there are all dipped in water. And there guys, in the shallow water, you can see the green toad, Bafotis sidibundus, sitting over there in the middle of the day. And there are lots of eggs that will probably hatch soon. They're covered with a slimy substance around them for protection. It's their mating season and they're laying and mating and reproducing. I'll try to find mating couples also to film. I'll do some flipping. I was told there are mating toads down there. Ah, look at this couple. And here guys we just found a huge Stelagama stereo. These one, guys are really colorful around here. I think it's a different subspecies from the ones on the coast. It's not happy about it. So I won't take a long time before letting it go. I just want to show you how beautiful it is. It, it calms down when you lay, put it like this. Here I go boy. Here it goes. And finally guys, we found our third mountain viper, another female, a younger one. Uh, it almost entered the container over there. But uh, we managed to catch it before it went there. It took a few still shots and took pictures with her. I will let her go now. This is epic, our third viper, our fifth viper for today. Third one we managed to catch and take pictures of. And uh, it's only midday now. We will continue our journey now. Here's the beautiful viper and just trying to escape safety it's not interested in biting us or anything unlike many people think and now we put her back exactly where we found her continue flipping now that we found one viper in this area too means we might find more and now we encountered a fight between two males with their lizards or it's a mating behavior I'm not sure but one lizard was carrying the other one and running with it holding it from the foot so I'll come closer to take some pictures I don't know what's going on over there guys Here, here is a pond, you can see all the tadpoles of the green toads that already hatched from their eggs. Uh, these guys need to metamorphose quickly because this uh, lake kind of thing is temporary so it will dry out soon. They have to become baby toads before that happens. Look how many. It's really cool. Here in Lebanon, usually toads have darker tadpoles, they're very black. Uh, frogs usually have brighter ones. 